Ah, oh, hey, greetings, everyone. Take four. I don't know why I announced that. It's just like I guess that's my my own frustration kind of seeping through each take. But hey, my name is Mike. Uh, this is Samurai Geek Designs. Uh, welcome. Uh, we are located in San Antonio, Texas. We are an art studio that uh, uh, we, we do uh, pretty much anything and everything when it comes to sci-fi collectibles. We do art prints, we do portraits, yada, yada, yada. But what I've got here today, I don't do this very often, but I've got an out-of-box review for a kit that was just ordered uh, from, from one, a new customer of ours. Uh, he has... Uh, an extensive 1000 scale Star Trek collection already at home that does not include uh, a lot of licensed kits but he decided to uh, take a chance with me um, and what I've got here is the uh, 1000 scale kit for the USS Grissom and the Klingon Bird of Prey uh, the USS Grissom Featured prominently within the first act of Star Trek III, The Search for Spock. Um, Captain Esteban was sitting in the center seat uh, on this day, and I am not sure what his qualifications were, but not every ship in Starfleet can have a daring crew, can they? Uh, but uh, also in the kit is also the Klingon Bird of Prey. Uh, the Star Trek adversary model kit uh oh god what do you call it anyway the first time we see the klingon bird of prey is in star trek 3 the search for spock the next time we see the klingon bird of prey is in star trek 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so um you get a this this one little model gets a lot of screen time and uh, is the favorite vessel for a lot of crazy psychos out there in the galaxy. Uh, so, let me get to the kit and uh, let me get this box out of the way because I did this already four times and I was done struggling with the box with one hand free. So, I guess by proxy we'll do the Klingon Bird of Prey. Uh, the Klingon, this, this version of the kit, I have to say, is not what I expected. Uh, I was expecting the version of this to be from the adversary kit that came with the Romulan and I believe the Cardassian ship uh, from the next generation probably about 20 years ago. Uh, gladly, it's not. Uh, this seems to be a scaled down version of the 1350 kit. Uh, that was pressed out in the 90s uh, w after the release of the movie Generations. So uh, I'm really glad to see that the, the detail has been has been scaled down and none of the detail has been lost. Um, you can still see all of the paneling here. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think it has really been accurized to the studio model. I think they just kind of went with what they had already in the 350 scale kit uh, but it's not bad I mean it was never a bad kit to begin with uh, so let me set this sprue aside and kind of jump over here to this next one to give you the, the the look at what our options are as far as building this uh, you do get two sets of baffles here so one I believe this is the cruising speed or the cruising version right here with the wings up and this would be for your uh, wings down, ready to attack version. So uh, you get a, I mean, you get the option. I mean, this is a snap together kit, so um, you will be able to change these baffles out if you want to play with it. But if you're a grown up, uh, you, you'll just probably find your preferred set up and then just keep it that way or you can just take the base put put the base on your shelf and then you have a cloaked version of the bird of prey uh, yeah i know that joke's been tired out since 1990 but anyway uh so what we have here now is the grissom and right off the bat i didn't realize that the grissom was so small in comparison to the other uh 1000 scale kits but 
This one could almost sit on the shelf with your 2500 scale kits from Discovery. It's pretty small. It's a minute little ship. No wonder it blew up with one shot. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, let me kind of bring in some of the detail for you guys. I mean, it's it's a pretty featureless kit when you look at it, but uh, it also didn't have uh, any ass teching uh, featured on this kit. It just seemed to be a pretty much a straight white uh, studio model. And uh, it looked like it was kind of rushed through production, and that's fine. I mean, it still looked interesting enough on screen to... Jeez, now I'm getting messages. I, uh, my phone... My phone has been quiet all day until right now. So, a shot at the bottom. And uh, I, I am not one of those quote-unquote rivet counters, especially with Star Trek kits. I mean, I know that there's always going to be a fair amount of, uh, of inaccuracies. And as long as uh, this part isn't square and as long as uh, it, the, the, the nacelles aren't a couple of popsicle sticks, I'm fine. I mean, I can live with that kind of stuff. But um, I will be trying to go for screen accuracy. Don't worry. Uh, and uh, let me just show you the uh, the instructions. The instructions are pretty quick. Uh, right there, three steps for the Grissom. And I think you have a whopping five steps for the Bird of Prey. Uh, quick shot at the, the decals. I was looking at... <laughs> I was looking at the decals earlier. And uh, I don't know if I'm impressed. Uh, it looks... I don't really have a problem with most of Round 2's uh, production, especially when it comes to their Aztec decals. Uh, but this one, it, I'm guessing it's the size at, 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 at what, what these were printed at right now, but it doesn't look like these are the sharpest decals that Round 2 has put out. Uh, the, the registry numbers seem a little fuzzy. Uh, the lines on, on this seem a little fuzzy. Uh, it's just the registration doesn't seem as tight, doesn't seem as crisp. Uh, if I knew that coming into it, I might try to reset all of these in Illustrator just so that everything looks clean. I just don't have the time to do that, uh, unfortunately. Um, the customer does want these back in, in a few weeks. He does have a birthday party uh to uh get get these wrapped up for so um i am working with the with a, a limited amount of time but luckily it's not going to take me forever to put this kit together it it's not complicated it is the right kind of detailed and the right kind of easy uh to put together uh you don't have to spend a long time working on this uh, you can if you want and that's the beauty of model making uh, it, it, it all comes down to our own personal preference. And uh, so anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video and kind of cut it short. But I will see you guys again. But this is one of our rare, and I mean rare, uh, out-of-box reviews uh, for the USS Grissom and Bird of Prey kit. Uh, a kit put out by Round 2 and Polar Lights a couple of years ago. Uh, so you guys have fun. Take care. Peace out. Hope this helps you out in your, uh, decision to uh, buy the kit. Uh, overall, I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to look really, really cool so that you don't see any of the blaring, uh, discrepancies that I see, but, uh, you, you guys, uh, make that choice for yourselves. Anyway, guys, you have fun. Take care. Peace out. And I will see you again. Thanks.